Hi, my name is Deborah from Foxley Garage in Stoke on Trent, and today I'm going to talk to you about diesel particulate filters, also known as DPFs. DPS can be found on diesel vehicles, normally from about 2000s onwards. It plays an integral part in your engine and it removes all of the NOx gases and soot buildup which occurs naturally whilst your engine is in operation. What are the symptoms and issues that you can experience with your DPF? Erratic driving, poor maintenance, incorrect oil being used for your vehicle and short journeys can all lead to a build up in soot in your DPF. Short journeys in particular because the vehicle isn't given the opportunity to reach the optimum temperature within the engine which allows the vehicle to self-regenerate naturally. This will then lead to either a indication in your dashboard of a warning light coming up telling your DPF needs attention or your vehicle may well go into limp mode. You could however experience both of these symptoms and it's best to get in touch with your local garage. So what's involved in repairing your DPF? Well, it depends how much soot buildup there is within your DPF. Your vehicle will have already naturally tried to regenerate itself. But if it's not able to do so, and you have the problems we've mentioned, there are options available depending on the amount of buildup you have. This can include additives being put into your vehicle in order to clear the soot out. It can include regeneration being done using specialist equipment and training. Or in fact, if it's, the blockage is beyond this, then a new and replacement DPF will be required. It's always worth noting that a type approved DPF will always be necessary to be put back onto your vehicle.